IPL representative, the Independent Prospectors League thanks you for your assistance, Commander. We're miners, not soldiers. We can't fight these bastards off on our own. That's what you're paying us for. Don't worry, we'll get your platforms back. This isn't just about reclaiming what's ours. Majesty Metals killed hundreds of us when they were tried to when they tried to jump our claim. We want to make them bleed for what they've done here. Commander, the Op 4 is holding two of the IPL's mining platforms. The first, designated Alpha, is where they're keeping the tur turret generator. Moving fast and take it out. Those turrets hit hard, so you want to neutralize them ASAP. Platform Bravo is the site of the Op 4 security corporate security tower. Engage and destroy it. If they bring in a mech to protect it, take it out too. Then circle on back and we'll collect our pay. That's right. I'm ready and waiting to authorize a transfer. Now go on, Commander. Hit those corporate pigs where it hurts. We'll be watching the action from here. Okay, so I probably just had to fade in from when I uh, recorded the intro to this at the very end of the last one. Uh, but we do need to go and destroy the generator to eliminate the turrets. Here's one. And then we have to end up working down here as well. So in this kind of scenario, we've got uh, four mechs. Uh, Decker is in this spider. Very, very light mech. Very, very fragile. I've made the mistake of uh, throwing him around a little too easily. Uh, in the past. We're not going to make that same mistake today. Let's uh, sprint along the road to cover a lot of ground here. Um, Glitch is our most, our second most armored mech, so we can follow in close behind. Don't need to tell me twice. Blackjack, medium range, we'll kind of keep at around here. And then Decker, depending on what happens, we'll kind of get him in and about... Um, We'll get him in at the appropriate times. We'll keep him behind cover for now. Uh, but I like to use these lighter mechs for a couple things. One, uh, scouting. They have a lot of evasion, which is nice. But two is like against vehicles are pretty good because they take extra melee damage. So yeah, let's um, let's get right up. We're covering tons of ground on the street. Found them. You are trespassing on Majesty Metals and manufacturing property and acting in collusion with a domestic terrorist organization. Cease your advance immediately. Well, I mean, or you will be fired upon. That's one word for it. Fine. Terrorist organization. Let's get serious here. We're the real terrorists. Now we could, we could jump over. And I think that I will. We're still in really good cover. Um, but this Roger keeps them, like, close by. Alright. Here we go. A lot of evasion here are gonna be pretty tough to hit. Now, uh, I believe that she has bulwark. I'll double check. We'll see in a sec. So Decker, mm, I'm gonna I'm gonna reserve Decker's turn here. I don't need him to act right now. They have a lighter mech up here as well that we can probably take down relatively easy. All right. So let's take a look at uh, Behemoth here. So she's got Bulwark with this passive. So she's going to gain guarded uh, when remaining stationary, which means uh, more often than not, we're going to just keep her where she is. Because if we can do this, um, any damage that she takes is going to get removed. Now, these guys have a bunch of the evasion built up, so I kind of want to reduce that um, before Waiting we attack you, with her. I don't Waiting have a sensor lock anywhere. I hear ya. So one of the things we could do is make the argument that we could come up top and just take shots with um, with Decker to remove the evasion. If I bring him back here, it's fairly unlikely. It's fairly unlikely that um, they're going to shoot at him if we put other people in closer. But chances to hit wise, it's not a huge deal. We just kind of want to remove the the evasion. Firing jump jet. All right. So we've got the spider up front, the commando in the back there. 
Medium lasers, short-range missiles and lasers. Let's go on the guy in front, this little spider. Targeting for an alpha strike. If we hit one, great, but we don't, so that's fine. Reporting. Negative damage. All right. What can I do for you? Glitch. You can come over here. Uh, actually... What do we have on this side? I don't love that all of these things can target us. So I'm just gonna move in. And hammer this dude on his out. right side. We've had an unknown on sensor. That's fine. Unknown is okay. Um, we could turn off the PBC if we wanted. Chances to hit are pretty bad. We could multi-target this, though. We got 55 in the PPC here, or we can use the PPC to take out one of the turrets. Maybe that's what we should do. Put the long-range stuff like this, uh, or we could even throw the PPC there. Put this on C as well. Forget B altogether. Let's give her. We already got exposed structure. This is beautiful. Not bad. All right. Odd. Let's go. I would like to get shots on this spider, but... Might not have the opportunity. I can if we want to build up a little bit of heat. I'm okay with that. Let's, uh, let's put it all on there. All weapons committed. It'll remove another charge of evasion, regardless of what happens. Got the leg, and the knockdown, which means now we're gonna get the called shots from Behemoth. It's actually pretty massive. Good to go. Let's go, let's just go for the torso and try to end him. Got him. Enemy down. Okay. So we're able to take one out. They've Feels good. Sensor lock on me. They sensor locked us. Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. That's pretty They've bad because all these me. turrets uh, can now fire on the sensor lock guys. Don't like that very much. Like so. Not much we can do, though. It's gonna happen. See all that damage hitting that left arm? That makes me nervous. Makes me very nervous. See the left arm already? Woo! Yes, right. Commander. Decker. Let's see. What can I do with you? Have to jump you again. Which isn't the end of the world. We would have the damage reduction in here if he decides to shoot at us. Copy that. And if actually if we want to, since morale's so high, we can use vigilance. So we gain guarded and entrenched and remove all stability damage. That part's less important. Um, but we can still act as well. So the fact that we gain guarded is pretty good. So if he does attack us, we reduce, uh, the damage. Firing. Full complement on enemy. Oh, nice hit. Low chance, too. Oh, massive! <laughs> I think I hit Got the ammo good. explosion. That's big. It's big. I guess in that sense, removing evasion... Uh, not that important as he's gonna get to move after. So, probably a bit unnecessary. Okay, Stability is questionable here. Bad. So we're gonna have to do something about that. Now her stability, um, I think we're gonna want to brace here. 
and get rid of all of that. Uh, but let's see what happens here. So first thing, we don't want to move because bulwark, right? We have decent chances with the medium range. We could do um, we could do a precision strike, but I like to keep our morale above fifty if we can. What about with the blackjack here? Good to go. I could look to move a little bit. Oh, we don't have vision there. I'm trying to find a place where I can move to build up just a little bit of evasion. And then not be in range of, like, you know, everything. And still not have, like, a broken sight to our target. But I don't think that's going to happen. So let's take this. And probably won't fire the AC2s. Just to like, well. Yeah, I probably won't fire them. Just to manage our heat a little bit better. Engaging target. Nice, this guy is in a spot of bother, to say the least. Yes, Commander. Alright. Um Waiting for orders. Behemoth, let's just take this guy out. He's pretty much toast. We actually have a we have okay amounts of ammo. If they hit, great. If not, understandable. Firing all weapons. I can't believe this guy's still alive, honestly. That. Commander? Okay. Sensor lock should be off after the round, right? So... What I could do... Is just shuffle back a bit. Break vision of the turrets. And then, yeah, we'll fire these. Low chances. Or, actually, maybe let's multi-target. I don't think we can catch that one. That'll work. Affirmative. Uh, major whiff. That's okay. Torso gone. Now, uh, we could get into, like, trying to get some more mech salvage uh, from these types. But these mechs are light mechs. Uh, not something I'm super thrilled on, on me. keeping. Okay, so is it the turrets, I think, are the ones on that hit. employing the sensor lock, then? Which worries me, because now Decker's gonna take some heat. We didn't want him to. He's got that forest protecting him. Adds up. All right. Standing by. Okay, we do not want to move in there. Let's uh, let's reassess. We need to get in on this turret um, generator to shut these down. We're gonna have all of our guys go before theirs. So I think if we get in here, and we just Go ham on this generator. Affirmative. As long as we take it out, Decker will be fine. So we need a hundred. Well, I think we should be able to get that with everybody. Locked on target. So now it's R three. Good to go. Can't get any closer, so this will have to work. On my way. I may have wanted to consider using the others so that we could reduce her um, stability damage just by um, bracing, but here we go. Got it. 
Nice shots, guys. Nice shots. Let's go get that tower. All right. Okay, so that was controlling these ones, too. Beautiful. For us, not so much for them. Waiting for orders. Let's grab uh, Behemoth. And she's going to be the one frontlining this. Roger that. We'll bring Glitch over as far as we can. Affirmative. Decker to the trees. I think let's actually reserve his turn here. Roger that. See what they Standing do. By. So Shadowhawk is a little bit more questionable. A little stronger of a mech. Shadowhawk on Shadowhawk. It's good action. What's up, Fox? All right. So she does have shots here, pretty decent ones. But we're not in a great position to uh, to deal with this one. So I think I'm going to come down and get closer. And we won't have we won't have the uh, bulwark kicking in. But it'll let us put a lot more heat on this guy. Which I'd like to do with our bigger with our bigger mechs. All right. Uh, we can even fire the LRMs. It's fine. Got structure exposed. Looks like she's hitting the leg. Heat sink down. This is big. That hit something good. Yeah, it did. This is big for a couple reasons. Uh, oh, oh, really? Got the head hit. That's very interesting. Uh, to go. All right, glitch. Waiting for orders. I don't have an amazing spot for you, but I do have a pretty good shot on this Shadowhawk with um, our Blackjack. So I think what we're gonna do, if we notice, like his legs, pretty well in trouble. Uh, his right arm's carrying a medium laser. What else is on the right side? Uh, LRM5 and ammo. I think what we're gonna do is... Bring the blackjack up. We're gonna call our shot. And try and take this mech down. We'll, uh, we'll go on the leg. And then we still scatter around there, so... Boom. Right leg. Toast! Oh! Right torso destroyed. Oh, this is big. That was massive. Now we're gonna crush him. Light damage. Holding firm. Alright. Waiting for orders. Now, we will have the LRMs that we can, like, launch over here. Unfortunately, Got it. we're stuck behind this terrain a bit. Okay. Let's do the called shot down here. Um... Just trying to see. There's not much that I can really chew through armor-wise. So we may as well just put it on the torso. Right, Commander. Okay. And then last you. here... I can actually jump him down here. But one of them will go next, so if I jump him down, 
I mean, his legs already got no armor, so it's pretty risky. So I think what I will do with him is just build up max evasion in a position where I have eyes on only one, and they only have eyes on me with one. Acknowledged. Again, these guys super fragile. I've learned this the hard way in the pre-release, so I'm hoping not to make those exact same mistakes. Copy that. Nice. Not bad. And we get to go again. Good to go. Firing all weapons. Got him. Super cool. Reporting. Enemy vehicle eliminated. That's another nice thing about reserving that turn is uh, puts us at the end of the phase and he basically gets two in a row. Still has that last residual evasion there. Saving lives. Commander. All right. Um. This guy's pretty much screwed. It is a shadow hawk. Maybe if I just destroy all of his legs, then we get more salvage. We also the head, but the chances are much lower of actually hitting it uh, correctly. Confirmed. Commander. Getting in here. Coordinates received. And then, if we can take out that leg... Actually, I don't even know if the salvage matters on this mission, to be fair. Roger that. He still lives. I was gonna say, we just come stomp this vehicle. But the idea is, uh, if we do get to keep this salvage, which I don't know that we do, um, is that if we blow off the legs or the head, we get more more of it. How much is left here? 52. These all need to hit, but pretty good chances. But And they all need to hit that leg that we're aiming at, which it's not. We already missed one, so... Heat sink down. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Yeah, I'd say so. Look at this brave soul. He wants revenge, but he's very confused. <laughs> Alright, he's gone guarded. That's smart. That's smart. Uh Yes, Commander. Do I have the ability to do anything here? Kinda, maybe. What has he got left? 27, but he's going to take half damage. So we can't even get it. Um, even with, like, a precision strike. So what I'm going to do is... Let's reserve here. We'll let them act, and then we'll react. So we, could, we clearly could have killed this guy, like, just by firing at him full on. Ready for um, but practicing for the real world, you know. Firing a full salvo. There it is. Both legs gone. Oh, jeez. So cool. Down. So yeah, I don't know if we get salvage for this mission, but either way, good practice. Got him. This guy might come and hit from behind. Yeah. Nope. Jeez. Uh, I'm gonna need a medic. Yeah, I think you'll be okay. Let's stomp him. Engaging physical attack. In hindsight, it would have been better to stomp that guy, not have to worry about him, Enemy and then deal with the guy that was down and try to do our fancy stuff, but eh, it's all good.
All right, let's just fire from here. Great job, Commander. Double back to our client's platform. The sooner we can collect our pay and break orbit, the better. Yep, I would agree with that. So we need to head back over here. On the move. So give, give us a chance to cool off on the way. Good to go. That's a weird sprint max. Position confirmed. Just be weird ground. Ready for orders. Oh, I see. Okay, we're like at some ledge. That's what's going on here. Got it. All right, Behemoth. Waiting for orders. Same thing. Let's jump you off the ledge. Jumping. And I guess. We're going to have to go around, because this is... Ah, let's jump it again. Engaging jump jets. Moving to position. Okay, Order. Behemoth, way in. Uh, I don't want you maybe too far On ahead. My way. As we're definitely getting jumped. Vindicator can stay back with the snipes. We'll go max four chevron sprint. Which we build up pretty quickly. Roger. Receiving you. Roger that. Good to go. Got it. Are we close enough? Brilliant work, Commander. We should have no trouble mopping up at the other platforms now that their defenses are down. We get the job done. Speaking of which, I wasn't finished. These platforms don't do as much good if we can't hold them. Majesty Metals taught us that. So we're going to need your battle mechs. Yeah, you're going to want to reconsider that. Why? Your lance has already been target locked by our turrets. Now power down and surrender. We'll let you walk. Or try to fight and we'll tear you to shreds. Your call. There goes our goddamn payday. Hold tight, Commander. We're on our way. I've got hostiles on my screen. Here we go. Uh, what are we dealing with? Vehicles? Waiting for orders. And turrets. Do we have turret generator? Yeah, we do. Firing. Oh, we missed that first one. I think we can take the turret generator out before the turrets get a chance to act, but these guys are going to inflict some pain. Under heavy fire. I wouldn't call that heavy fire, but yes, I, I do Commander? understand your point. We need 75 here. We can do it with these two. We could also multi-target this. Put the LRM on the vehicle. Here we go. Got it. All right. Uh, both of our legs are like super healthy. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the jump all the way over. Not quite. No. Waiting for orders. Thank you. 
What do we have over- Oh, yeah, okay. Hold on. Orders. I'm going in. You know what? I'm going to fire these anyway. Low chances, but Targeting let's give them hell. Got him. Reporting vehicle destroyed. All right. Oh, we do have it. Oh, there's a third. Okay, okay, okay. Let's position so we can kind of like tank this a little bit if we have to. It'd be nice if you could highlight this, like, this little orange chevron to figure out which one was going to go next. Talk about overkill. SRM 6, LRM 10. This guy's got the lasers. Tempting. Both are good. Enemy unit destroyed. Oh, I guess what I could have done is see. Oh, this guy was a phase two. Oh, that guy's a phase two, so we know he was going to go next. Um. Well, either way, one of them would have gone next, because he was a three, so it would have been his turn. Commander. It's all good. We can go and punch this guy. Look at the range. We're gonna do double damage to him. Move order received. Locked on for physical attack. Bye thou. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Stand by for extraction, Commander. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, and Darius? I know, Meyer. I know. You want another team meeting. <laughs> Give the man a prize. Mission successful. Let's go. All right. Now things are going to start to open up for us. All right. Not bad. So, um... That worked out pretty well. Reputation with the Mercenary Review Board. Good. And, not too crazy. Glitch, he took a couple of those... Well, he took one of the shots. Behemoth took a shot. So they'll be out for a little bit. Uh, Mech-wise, we're laughing, though. Only armor got, uh, got hit. No weapons went down. All of that's good. A little bit of cash. good i'm excited i can't wait to like okay let me go free let the let go of the reins and let me let me get out there you need to start finding us better clients darius i mean it we've been slumming it on the ass end of the frontier for three years now and we are drowning in debt fully aware of our financial situation Meyer, but i can't just conjure up new clients out of thin air christopher do me a solid and back me up on this look i didn't take command of this outfit to sell arguments of course not. We made you our commander because you've got a knack for leading us out of tight spots, like this one, for example. Darius, could you walk us through the details of the trouble we're in? Might help if you broke things down point by point. <laughs> sure thing, Yang. Point one, Myers right, we're in debt. Every sea bill, the currency we make, technically belongs to the banks. Point two, this corner of the frontier is a dead zone for mercenary work. There are clients, but they're terrible. That's just a fact. And that's it. There are no other points. So, what's our best case scenario? How many jobs will it take to repay the loans? Truthfully, I can't even say. We're in a pretty deep hole, and from where I'm standing, I don't see a whole lot of daylight. The thing is, these banks, and I use that word loosely, they don't want us to pay off our loans. They'll do whatever they can to get away with uh, 
They do it, do whatever they can get away with to keep us on the hook. Hit us with fees, jack up our interest rates, misfile our paperwork. I'm trying to find a way out of this, but it's going to take time. And every day that passes, we accumulate more debt. If we keep going like we have been, we're screwed. Okay, so we're in a bad spot. What are we going to do about it? I don't see what else we can do. I'm already serving up every legitimate contract I can find. Unless you want me to sidestep the Mercenary Review Board entirely, we're basically out of options. Don't want you to do that. Go around the MRB? No thanks. Taking an uncertified job is a great way to wind up with a knife in your back. Uh, we're absolutely taking a lot of risks out there. I don't want to compound them unless I absolutely have to. Amen to that. Remind me again why I don't just skip town and head to a nicer corner of the periphery? Because the banks and the jump ship crews have an arrangement. Until we pay up, they're going to keep us on a short leash. That's good. That's good reason. Look, Darius, Meyer's right. We need to start earning some real money, and we need to do it soon. It's only a matter of time before something breaks down that I can't fix with duct tape and good intentions. Look, I'm no stranger to betrayal, Yang. I lost my family to someone I thought of as a friend. That doesn't change the fact that we need money. Yeah, boss. As much as I hate to say it, I agree with you. We need to sidestep the MRB. Guess I'd better get mentally prepared for that knife in my back, huh? It's settled then. I'll start digging for contracts outside the MRB system. Who knows? Maybe it'll work out for the best. It isn't like we've got all that much to lose. In the meantime, we need to find another paying job and our prospects in the system have completely dried up. I'd recommend booking travel to a neighboring system and seeing what the review board has for us. With any luck, we'll find enough work to keep going until something better rolls in. The banks are holding our jump ship access hostage until we can repair debts. For now, we can only go between your crew in and the nearby systems of Alloway, Bellerophon, and Detroit. Our top priority right now needs to be finding work so we can raise cash. None of the contracts here are very good. I picked out the only viable one I could find, and it helpfully includes our travel fees as part of the deal. Come by the command center when you're ready to review it. All right. Open things up for me. Thank you. Beautiful. So, um, let's first things first go into our mech bay. And these are all set up pretty well right now. We could leave, like, the stock loadouts. We don't need to do any repairs. Um, but what I do want to look at is just to see if we, do we start out with some weapons? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Um, all right, cool. So we do have some spare weapons. The other thing I want to look at is the store. So in here we can find weapons to buy. Sometimes if they have the plus, they're like, um better versions, better variants of those weapons. We can buy uh, mech salvage if we want. You can see they're like pretty costly. We could sell stuff in here. I ran into a flamer at the end of the pre-release and that was pretty crazy because that might be fun to get into at some point. Um, but for right now, I don't think there's anything we need to buy. We could look at the hiring hall and just see who's out here. So any of these guys, th we have to work on our MRB rating. Um, I don't think I would buy somebody unless I really Standing just by. had to. Copy. Because all of their stats yep, are, like, super basic. So unless somebody gets killed, uh, which I hope doesn't happen, I don't think we need to, to swap that out, you know? Alright. So, our travel contract is over here. We're gonna go want to go and check that out. Um, but this is the system. If we zoom way out, we can see a bit more. And you can see things are going to get pretty wild later on. Uh, but for now, we'll just take the contract that he's got for us. Asset retrieval. Operatives on Bellerophon discovered a functional piece of L SLDF technology. It's going to take 12 days to get there. It's in the desert. Uh, before they could deliver it to us, we were captured by local government forces. We need a team to assault the location they're being held, uh, recover the technology, and escape. Guessing it's some broken piece of scrap, but the Free Worlds League is willing to pay to recover it. We go in there and we uh, get out before they even know what hit them. Okay, so I think on these lower level missions, like the most I can get is 79,000 on this. I think I'm just going to go straight salvage. I could even argue that like I could just, I can guarantee pick two salvage. I'll get eight total and then I get some rep. So something like this is probably not bad. It's not really about the money. We're going to get bigger missions later that will give us more money. And I think right now, salvage could be more important. Being able to pick two of them um, is pretty nice. It could give us potentially a full mech that we could sell. Um, we can get upgraded parts, etc., etc. 
All right, so let's accept this contract. It's going to take 12 days. Calculating course now, Commander. So we got people, we got pilots that are recovering right now anyway. So we'll get there. We're going to have to wait a little bit for our pilots to recover. It's not that ideal, but it is what it is. Okay, so we're on the Leopard's Bridge with Sumire, Yang, and Darius for the daily staff briefing. We've received three messages from the banks. Loan sharks, Sumire would cut in. From the people who are financing us, they're considering rewriting the terms of our loans, so it'll be easier to seize the ship if we, make, if we miss a payment. As usual, they're only doing this because they believe we can't fight in court. So, I think we sweet-talked the bank last time, and that worked out pretty well. Uh... I'll talk to them, you say, and the meeting moves on after you record a response. In it, you explain with much gravitas that you selected each of the banks for their prestige and reliability. You remind them of your impeccable payment history. You conclude by expressing your desire for a long and fruitful financial relationship with them, hinting that you might seek additional loans when your current ones are paid in full. A few days later, the banks contact you see their previous messages were sent and errors should be ignored. Okay, cool. So this was the same outcome as last time. Great loan status to have is fair. That's fantastic. Let's keep cruising. All right, we've arrived at Bellerophon. Ready to proceed with our current contract? Not totally. Um, let's check our mech warriors right now. So we've got 2,600 XP here. Um, we know Behemoth has Bulwark. I think continuing in Guts is pretty good. I think almost everybody needs to get, like... Receiving you. If I go here, you see how we get that one extra health? Like, that's really good. It's really good on, like, everybody. Medusa is somebody that we could take out. Standing by. Decker, we could give him guts there. And then we can worry about, like, uh, a level upgrade later. But, man, actually, sensor lock's pretty good. But eventually, I want guts four on everyone so they get that f the uh, plus one health. All right, let's take this. So we'll upgrade Decker a bit. Mech warrior training complete. Orders. Um, we're set here. I hear ya. Glitch. Not much I can do with the 800, so let's just hold on it. Dusa. So you're basically you're better in piloting, and this kind of governs our melee. Um. Plus, if we get evasive movement, we generate that extra evasive charge, um, which is nice. So, what I think is best is we focus on one tree with, like, a sub extra. Uh, if we're going to focus on piloting with Medusa, then we put him in, like, one of our melee mechs that we eventually build out. Training confirmed, Commander. And then for us, uh, I think we go for not only the extra weapon hit, but also the uh, multi-target, and then I'm going to take that level 4 guts for the extra health as well. Training complete. Aye, aye. Good. Commander? Yes, Commander. Alright, we're laughing. So, hold on. I definitely want to take out 4, so we need to wait till at least one person's back. And so that's 7 days for Behemoth. Glitch is going to sit this one out. All right, there we go. So let's uh, let's launch the contract and set up our loadout. So we can go Shadowhawk here. Behemoth with Bulwark seems to work pretty good. Um, the Blackjack, the Vindicator. And the spider, I guess. I can't wait to get a better mech. This guy, this makes me very, very nervous. I think we'll put the extra evasion in here. The piloting. 
Um, the Vindicator, medium, PPC, more long range. Multi-target's pretty nice there. And then we can put Decker in the Blackjack, who can sensor lock. And he can still dish out damage uh, from medium range if necessary. Um, it's Both of these, I think, could probably be swapped. I'm not actually sure which would be better. Like, I could argue that Medusa's good here because you're moving with the Blackjack and building evasion. And then we are using this more the scout for sensor lock. Maybe that is actually better. All right, so that's what we're going to do. Wish me luck. We'll see you guys at the mission. Uh, it's a recovery mission. Should be fun. Should go well. No one's going to die. Asset retrieval. Everything's fine. We'll see you in the next one. This is where things get real. Pretty excited. Thanks, guys, so much. We'll see you. Take care.